Okay, let's get to the spirit read today. I already just pulled cards. And what we have going into it is we have the... Um, I'm using it in conjunction with these. I wanted to try it today and see how it is. So first thing out, we have the moon. Okay, the moon. So this sometimes has to do with psychic skills, that type of thing. Um, you know, being able to connect with the inner realms, being able to connect with the subconscious. Okay, the moon. And it's saying with that to relax into it, relax into it, collaborate, and have the collaborations um, to bring out uh, things about um, that are happening in the world, that, that, those type of things. So I think that this has more to do with... Uh, readers, you know, kind of getting together and having more collaborations um, to talk about the things that are happening with the higher-ups. We've got the king of pentacles, okay, the, the, the movers, the shakers, the, the things that are happening. Because on the other side, we have the rattle. And what's the rattle about? It could be either gaining uh, uh, an attention or also the rattle is used to get rid of negativity, to break through negativity. So it's about also communication, okay? Staying earthbound, staying grounded, staying grounded, communicating with others, dispelling these notions, dispelling the notions of drama that are out there uh, for the burden, okay? It's carrying the burden. So it's really talking about relax, <clears throat> gaining the second sight, being able to see with the subconscious, collaborate with others, communicate, you know, shake that rattle, get rid of the negativity, break through the negativity, stay grounded when it comes to, um, again, doing readings or psychic, whatever, the burdens of people, okay, become aware of what's there. Um, come from a place of genuineness, okay, and again, relax into it. Don't, um, if, if you are someone that is doing readings or psychic, um, make sure that it's not being uh, overrun by one's own prejudices, okay? Because it filters through, it filters through. So um, <clears throat> make sure you stay grounded, so important. Get rid of the negativity and communicate, communicate with others so that the best uh, information starts coming forward. Okay. So again, the burdens of what we've got going on now in the world, the movers and shakers saying relax and stay grounded, relax, earth looking to higher things, stay grounded, look to the higher things. We have um, the moon and the rattle. So, you know, using whatever skills you have to get rid of negativity, okay? To get rid of negativity, to break through that, collaborate and communicate. Keep putting that information out there to the highest awareness, Okay, it's about uh, aiding people to go forward in their own lives and not creating drama and fear-based things. Okay, um, stay away from the fear-based things and bring people good, grounded information, the best that you can give uh, to aid them to go forward and to, you know, you want to give out the truth of what's going on. And it's not about um, creating.
creating panic in people. It's not about, uh, it's about giving reliable, grounded information to aid them to go forward through these turbulent times, okay? And I think that's one thing with the uh, Hodiga, you know, when we get together and with uh, Milu and, uh, you know, that we want to give grounded information. It's, it's about watch for these things that could be coming up. Don't panic. Get through it one day at a time. Take a breath. This too will pass, but these are the things that we are going through in this time of transition for the planet and for humanity, okay? So thanks for tuning in, love and light. See you online.